Reading the news about how Donald Trump uh, purged uh, the leadership of the DHS and now reading that Stephen Miller is, in effect, going to be running that. See, Stephen Miller, of course, a guy who, who frightens a lot of uh, Democrats, progressives, independents, and I would guess some educated suburban uh, Republican voters as well. Can you, can you explain, um, I know he came in from, from uh, the senator's office, uh, former attorney general. Sessions. Uh, yeah. The for, for, yeah, Sessions' office. Can you explain why this man, more than all others, has stayed close to Donald Trump through the years and actually is the one uh, member of the Trump administration that actually seems to get more powerful by the day? Well, I think, Joe, I mean, there's a, it, there's a deeper question, right? Why is it that Donald Trump uh, continues to, to, to pursue a policy on immigration, particularly at its extreme manifestations, uh, the commitment, for example, the thought of closing the border, the child separation policy, which is maybe the darkest stain policy-wise on the administration in a lot of people's point of view. The president wants to revive that policy. Once you understand, though, that what's motivating Trump is the notion that our as, as, as draconian as his policies have been on immigration, he thinks they have not been draconian enough. Once you understand that that is what Trump wants to pursue for whatever reasons, whether out of genuine, uh, oh, he, this is what he genuinely thinks is the right thing for the country, or to defeat his base for political reasons, whatever the motivation, that explains why Stephen Miller is still so close to Donald Trump. Because Stephen Miller is the one guy who agrees with Donald Trump about that, who's perfectly happy to go back to child separation again, even when the courts have said mm -hmm. that it's not okay. He's the guy who, as we played at the very beginning of the show, who said famously at the beginning of the administration that the, that the president's uh, authority will not be challenged, right? And so Stephen mm -hmm. Miller is the henchman who is aligned with Donald Trump on this issue that is so central to Trump when others, even far right members of the administration have said, no, uh, Mr. President, that's against the law. Uh, immoral, that's inhumane, uh, they have now all been fired, and who is left is the one guy who, when Donald Trump says, uh, close the border, put kids in cages, do whatever, uh, Stephen Miller says, yes, sir, uh, and salutes smartly. I think that's the explanation for a large part of it. Well yeah, and Joe, I mean, this was a point of contention between you and Trump early on uh, when you guys were still talking. Uh, what is the relationship or what is it about this young guy who says things like the president's powers are not to be questioned, who makes up what our government is about, that he ends up being in charge of basically immigration for, for our country? Well, he agrees uh, with Donald Trump. As John said, he agrees with Donald Trump on the issue of immigration. He was extraordinarily successful in the campaign trail. Anybody that, that, that reported on the campaign trail would tell you uh, in sort of performing this mind meld with Donald Trump. He started writing his speeches early in the campaign, halfway through the campaign. And again, he knew how to write for Donald Trump. And the loyalty went uh, went back and forth. Uh, and, you know, the last time, I think, uh, the last time I had a conversation with Donald Trump, we were actually yelling it was uh, about loud. Stephen Miller yep. over, over this topic. And I think it was actually, uh, we raked him over the coals for two days. Uh, Stephen Miller for saying that the president's authority was not to be questioned. I found that to be... Uh, uh, illiberal, uh, undemocratic, and frightening, and we said that for two days, and I thought it was curious that it's the only time I've heard Donald Trump call and yell uh, in defense of somebody else, saying it's true. he actually said, you're, 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 you're hurting this poor young kid, <laughs> and it's just not, you're not being, I can't believe Talk he said Talk about this, hurting poor young kids. You're not being nice to this poor young kid. You're killing him every day. And it was the first time actually I'd ever heard him talk about any staff member that way. Of course, the comeback was, well, you need to tell the poor young kid he needs to read the Constitution and stop saying the president's authority does not be questioned, et cetera, et cetera. But Gene Robinson, there is undoubtedly and there has been a bond between Donald Trump and mm -hmm. Stephen Miller. And that yeah. has kept him at the center of things. And uh, both of them have a very absolutist view on illegal immigration. And that is, let us say right here, an absolutist view that is shared by 35 to 40 percent of Americans.
and a growing number of people in Europe frustrated at the high immigration levels uh, coming into their countries. Yeah, I mean, it's an absolutist view, not just on illegal immigration, though, on immigration period. I mean, you know, let's just be honest. They're, they're almost soulmates on this issue, Trump and Miller, almost like father and son. Uh, and they both believe that there are too many Latinos coming into this country, and they want to stop it. They, they you know, the, that the country is full, as the president uh, repeatedly said last week. Uh, and it, it's a, you know, they make a, uh, a behind it is a, the sort of cultural argument. It's uh, it's it's totally ahistorical in, in, in terms of the way this country has been since its founding. Um, and, and I don't think that most Americans um, uh, or, or even the 35, 40 percent of, of the base um, fully share this this um, this xenophobic view on immigration, though some do. Um, but but the important thing is that Donald Trump and Stephen Miller uh, share it, and this is the one thing this, administ this administration, which has been all over the map on so many issues, has been really, really consistent on. Um, and